This week, five signs that an impending recession is here, but older homeowners may have a shield. Building relationships is the way Mutual of Omaha has grown into one of the leading financial services companies in the world. Our reverse mortgage wholesale division is proud to carry on this 100 plus year tradition. To your borrowers, a reverse mortgage is more than a transaction. It's a promise of a better, more stress-free life. Our goal is to provide you, our valued client, with the best service and support possible so you can focus on helping your borrowers achieve the retirement of their dreams. Welcome back to the Industry Leader Update. Is a recession imminent and will it drive more homeowners to consider a reverse mortgage? Before we tackle that topic, let's first examine some recent economic history and data. Over the duration of the pandemic, Americans socked away an incredible amount of savings. However, that pandemic savings will likely be gone by the end of this year. That according to research from the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco. Americans' personal savings rate, as measured by the percentage of one's disposable income saved, was 9.1% in January 2020. By April 2020, that number soared to 33% thanks to stimulus payments, mortgage and rent forbearance programs, and also very generous unemployment payouts. But by November 2020, that index fell to 13.3% until it rebounded to 26% in March 2021, thanks to a third round of stimulus payouts from the American Rescue Plan Act. The aggregate amount of dollars saved also follows a nearly identical tract. Now, Fortune.com reports that excess savings accumulated during the pandemic actually helped us defy the expectations of a looming recession as consumer spending bolstered the economy. However, with nearly 90% of the savings having been spent from the pandemic and credit card balances also soaring, consumers are ill-prepared for an economic downturn. Now, that's especially true for older Americans who are on a fixed income or who no longer can finance their expenditures on their credit cards. Now, what is not reported is that the hedge that older homeowners have today, an estimated $12.7 trillion in home equity savings held by those 62 and older. Now, credit card delinquencies typically surge during a recession. For example, in the years leading up to and during the housing and economic crisis of 2008, credit card delinquency shot up from 3.5% to 6.77% in the second quarter of 2009. Then the number of Americans defaulting on their credit cards fell steeply as consumer spending slowed and the economy clawed its way out of a recession. Yet as consumers spent the last of their stimulus savings, credit card balances and delinquencies are now trending in the wrong direction in the last few years. So how likely are we to see a recession in 2024? Business Insider reports that Deutsche Bank analyzed economic data from the 1700s to present, and they found five indicators of an impending recession, and we've just completed four of the five. Insider reports that Jim Reed, the head of global economics and thematic research at Deutsche Bank, presented his analysis of 323 years of economic data from the world's largest economies. And what he found is that when compared to the other G7 nations, the U.S. has had more consistent cycle of economic booms and busts than its peers, but it has also produced greater overall economic growth. Reed argues that recessions are actually good for the economy in the long term, in essence, trimming off the non-productive and bloated parts of the economy. Now, despite this, most governments have gone to great lengths, any lengths, to avoid a recession at all costs, even if it produces a deeper downturn or an asset bubble. So here are the five indicators of an upcoming recession occurring within 12 months of any three-year period. Now, according to Reed, of which we've already seen the fourth and fifth just come to pass of these signs, the first is inflation increasing three percentage points in any rolling 24-month period. Check. The second sign is the inversion of the yield curve. That is when short-term debt instruments have higher yields than long-term ones with the same credit risk. The third sign of an impending recession is short-term interest rate hikes exceeding 1.55% of the previous period. Reed writes, 77% of the time U.S. inflation has risen more than three percentage points over 24 months, there has been a subsequent recession. The fourth indicator is oil prices increasing by 25% or more in a 12-month period. And the fifth indicator of an impending recession is quantitative tightening and interest rate hikes, and that's from the nation's central bank. So, with 80% of all U.S. dollars in circulation being printed since January 2020 and inflation persisting despite the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes, 
a recession seems more likely and perhaps a correction to an overbloated and debt-ridden economy that's sorely out of balance. In conclusion, Americans' pandemic savings may be nearly exhausted, but their home equity is not. And that's good news for older homeowners. Now, will this drive up demand for reverse mortgages? That remains to be answered. However, the increased need for additional cash flow during these uncertain economic times, that is beyond question. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you think that a recession is imminent or do you disagree? We'd love to hear your arguments either way. You can do that in the comment section below. Please chime in. Also, be sure to share this video on your LinkedIn profile. Thanks to you who do that each and every week. Don't forget we have a YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upcoming episode. And each and every week, you can catch up on your reverse mortgage news with our weekly podcast, Heckin' World Weekly. By the way, we're now on Spotify and Apple users. Yes, you can still listen and subscribe on iTunes or listen here at Heckin' World. Thanks so much for joining us and be sure to return next week for more reverse mortgage news on the go.